Okay, so things are getting quite interesting on the Nintendo Switch front with the next Nintendo system heavily rumored to be launching in 2024. What is going on with the current Nintendo Switch and some of the big first party games right now physical? Because there's been this thing where I read an article where it said many first party Nintendo games seem to be going out of print. And I want to check exactly what's going on with these games. Now, I have discussed that a little bit before, but I wanted to do a proper buy now before rare but first party edition so we're going to be covering 10 games that seemingly are going out of print and some of the analysis that i have here based on my research where there's stock and a bit more but before we get into that what's good everyone oj here welcome back to another video please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you are someone new and click that notification bell to get my nintendo switch rpgs and live stream videos all right here first and let's go ahead and jump into the first game here and that is pikmin 3 deluxe now this game is interesting because apparently it's going out of print it's hard to find i was able to find it pretty easily on amazon $54.80 however best buy it was sold out and walmart has it from third party sellers for $54.79 so my advice with this game is to definitely secure a copy if you can best buy being completely sold out it was one of those things where it was hard to find now of course if you go on ebay you're gonna find a lot of the games that we're talking about loose from different people so you gotta also factor that in or if you have different mom and pop stores i mean those are becoming a dying breed as well but yeah it does seem the fact that it's sold out at best buy third party sellers have it at walmart and it's 54 dollars at amazon it seems like things are looking slim or more like grim for some of these games starting out with pikmin 3 deluxe now let's move on to the next game here we're going to talk about metroid dread this is 50 dollars 69 on amazon and remember guys i'm talking about us only obviously if you live in a different country then it's going to be a bit different but i'm guessing here in the us with the biggest stock obviously it's going to reciprocate in other places as well but just keep in mind we're talking about us versus unless i state otherwise now $50.69 at Amazon on Best Buy. It's completely sold out. Could not find the game at all. And at Walmart, it's $50.69 as well. So it seems like they're trying to automatically price match Amazon with that. So I would say with Metroid Dread, my analysis with this is definitely pick up a copy. Metroid games in the past have also kind of went out of print and been rare to find, especially cartridge-based Metroid games. For example, if you look at like Metroid Zero Mission or Metroid Fusion, Super Metroid, a lot of the games, cartridge-based ones, end up becoming rare anyway. So I would absolutely say pick up a copy of Metroid Dread. It's a phenomenal game and it's into a series that obviously doesn't sell the most. So I'm pretty sure Nintendo didn't print as many of them. Another thing that I also want to mention here that I forgot to mention at the beginning is that this could be a Nintendo Selects line, which is what I talked about before in a video and in my live stream. So maybe this is the reason why these games are kind of going out of print because Nintendo is preparing a Nintendo Selects or Player's Choice where it's a discounted price and you can get these games. But some people do not like to have the banner or the little border that they have for the Wii U and all that. Some people don't like that. And usually those versions are worth less than the original version. So that's another reason why to maybe pick up some of these games if you haven't done so. Next up is Paper Mario the Origami King. This one was interesting because I think this is where people started noticing a little bit that, hey, what's going on? Paper Mario the Origami King, it's hard to find at places. The game only came out, I guess not only, but it's four years ago. This will be the fourth anniversary of the game. It seemed like it was not that long ago. But yeah, Paper Mario on Amazon is $53.99, and that's from a third-party seller. I wasn't able to find the game directly from Amazon. It was somebody else selling it. So that tells you right there that there's absolutely stock issues with Paper Mario the Origami King. You also look at Best Buy, completely sold out. Walmart had it from various different third-party sellers as low as $63.20 all the way up to $102.99. So Paper Mario the Origami King, if you can find a loose copy, a used copy, a new copy for a decent price, definitely pick it up. And Paper Mario games in the past have also had this. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario on the N64. So it's something that's happened before with Paper Mario. So I would absolutely say if you can find a loose copy, if you can get one, pick up Paper Mario the Origami King. It's not my favorite Paper Mario game out there, 
but I do think that it has a good plot story. So if you want to play it, you can definitely play it. But if you want to just collect it just for your collection to have, absolutely because best buy being sold out walmart having copies for that high and amazon a third party seller on amazon that's when you know things are a bit dire maybe for paper mario the origami king now next up let's talk about the legend of zelda Link's awakening this one was very interesting to research because i realized that i didn't have a physical copy i had a digital copy that nintendo gave to me hashtag free game but i did not have a physical copy so i was in the market myself while researching this to pick up the legend of zelda Link's awakening now we have it on amazon for $51.48, but that's the European version. I was not able to find the US version, at least where I'm at, which here in the California US, usually there's a lot of copies of video games. Games sell a lot here. So that was very interesting to not find a US version of the game so i went searching for other places i went to best buy they had it for 59 dollars 99 with incredibly low stock so i purchased it from best buy and then while i was continuing to do my research i saw that it was at walmart for 39 dollars 99 and this is directly from best buy and walmart so i ended up buying a walmart copy as well i'll return the best buy copy and obviously the walmart copy is going to be shipped to my house so 39 dollars 99 cents right now at this point might have to act fast when it comes to that it does seem like this game is also being phased out the common denominator here when it comes down to it is the fact that when it was full price at best buy very low stock and on top of that you couldn't find the u.s version on amazon so something's going on with this game as well usually amazon you can find it you can find those u.s copies of the game and for those who don't know u.s copies are usually worth a bit more physical for some reason i'm not sure why um they just are so keep in mind that you might be able to find some of these european for cheaper or different rating boards depending on the region but we're talking about the u.s versions because those ones are the most valuable uh for one reason or another so yeah legend of zelda Link's awakening 39.99 right now on walmart and you need to check to see if you can get it for that price uh, but it does seem like that's a game to pick up because Legend of Zelda games in the past have also become rare out of nowhere. Stuff like The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on the GameCube, that one became rare out of nowhere. And other games as well, cartridge-based Nintendo uh, Legend of Zelda games. So definitely pick that one up if you can. Now we're going to go over a game that we went over many times on this channel. And that is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And this one's interesting because there is split between the UK version and the US version. You can get it on Amazon. It's $59.89 for the UK version or the international version. And you can get it for $59.99 for the US version. So it seems like there was a big stock reprint at some point. And people, whether it's eBay or whether it's Amazon, they're selling those. But Amazon has it at their own retailers as well. It's just full price for this game that came out the launch year of the Nintendo Switch. Now, Best Buy, it's completely sold out there. Can't get it, at least in my areas and anywhere that I could search for on Best Buy. And then on Walmart, it's various different sellers anywhere between $58.59 and $94.99 and from third-party sellers. So, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a game that I absolutely recommend. I mean, I've had it on here multiple times for Buy Now Before Rare, giving you guys updates because it's been out for a while. There was a time to where it was incredibly rare to find it. The Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Special Edition is pretty rare, going for anywhere from $250 and up depending on the condition that it's in so hold on to that if you have it but yes xenoblade chronicles 2 is absolutely a game that you want to pick up i don't think nintendo is going to be making a lot of those and if they do more in the future it's going to be that nintendo selects line it's going to be like that player's choice line so absolutely pick up a copy of xenoblade chronicles 2 it's the best-selling xenoblade game best-selling monosoft game and it's an iconic game pirate and mithra it's a great game as well so yes this is something that i would say absolutely pick up if you can get a copy on amazon at that 60 bucks i know it stings a little bit because the game is so old at this point but it's absolutely going to be worth that going forward in the future so i do recommend picking up that now let's move on to the next thing here guys we've got some more rpg goodness for you guys fire emblem three houses i wanted to cover this game again because it's very interesting with this title you can get it for 59 dollars 45 cents on amazon and I remember there was multiple sales on this game. You were able to get it for $29.99, $39.99, $49.99 at various points. It came out in 2019 on the Nintendo Switch. And at various points, it was just cheaper. It was just discounted. And it's selling well. And it was doing well. It sold, I think, over 4 million units plus at this point, going on 5 million. So Fire Emblem Three Houses is a huge success 
for Nintendo. So there were sales and everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of dried up and the prices just raised all the way back up to near full price. Like I said here, $59.45 on Amazon. Best Buy, it's completely sold out. And at Walmart, it's third-party sellers anywhere between $59.88 and $70.75. Now, I went back and looked at it again, and I did see that you were able to add it to your cart on Walmart, and it's uh, directly from them cheaper, not from a third-party seller, but it was super weird, and I'm not sure if that's going to happen if you guys do that in whatever region you're in. So it's interesting to see Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, once again, Fire Emblem Games are historically rare after some time i mean we've seen this before with many other fire emblem games in the past sacred stones if you look at like fire emblem path of radiance radiant dawn all of these games end up blowing up in price it's just something that happens with fire emblem lack of copies whatever the case is the mystique around the game just how it is it's just something that happens so i 100 percent recommend picking up fire emblem three houses if you can find it for cheaper somewhere definitely pick it up but yeah it's interesting because this game had so many sales so many 29 99 39.99 sales over the years and now it seems like all those copies have been bought up and why we saw a big boost in these sales numbers from the original i think first year it sold 3 million and then over the course of the next number of years usually when games die out like this it still had a small but steady chipping away chipping away chipping away at the sales and got up to 4 million units plus so definitely that's what happened there now let's move on to another fire emblem game we have fire emblem engage and this one's interesting because this game didn't come out too long ago it's about a year old at this point shout outs to fire emblem engage one of my favorite fire emblem games of all time and check this out guys no new copies on amazon at all zero new copies for this game what is going on when it comes down to it and you might be able to find a european version or something like that but i wasn't able to find anything at the time that i was searching maybe it's changed up maybe a distributor or retailer got some more stock somewhere at this point but it's interesting that there was nothing there best buy you look at it they had one left low stock 59.99 which was just crazy to me and then at walmart third-party retailers 79 dollars and 18 cents all the way up to 95 dollars and 99 cents now if you can find the special edition of the game same as any of these other special editions those ones are already heightened up all the way past the regular price i think i did see it on amazon for like 140 dollars or so ebay you could probably get it for over the regular retail price because i think it was 99 dollars. i'm not 100 sure if it was 100 dollars or whatever the case is i have the special edition but i forgot about that but it's interesting man because fire emblem games didn't come out too long ago so something tells me that yeah it seems like just certain games they're just cutting off the printing and they're going to do something in the future with that or just simply tell you buy the game digital you know like if there's no more physical copies buy the game digital so very unfortunate with that considering that fire emblem gauge had a little bit of momentum i think if the dlc was a little bit better probably could have done a little bit better physically as well but unfortunate but at the same time um interesting if you have a copy of the game or a special edition of the game you probably have something that's going to be rare later down the line if you don't want that selects thing if it becomes part of that so check that out guys look at the different stores see if you can pick up a copy of fire emblem engage because that's the most recent game on on this list and the fact that it has no new copies on amazon nothing there it's the only game that we're going to talk about that was like that now next up is super mario odyssey this one seems to be pretty well stocked for the most part you can find it at various different stores that i looked at in addition to online loose at different places so amazon has it for 48 dollars 46 with plenty of stock Best Buy has it for $59.99 with pretty much somewhat low stock. You should be able to find the game though, but it's full price. And then Walmart seems to have matched Amazon automatically and has it for $48.46. So Super Mario Odyssey seems safe. But you should just to be on the safe side. I mean, we saw this with Super Mario Sunshine and some of the other Mario games that have came out. I think Mario 64 DS. Some of them just get stupidly expensive down the line for no reason. So, yeah, it might be one of those things to where you just get it. Super Mario Odyssey is still an incredible game. You probably just want to have that physical if you're a collector anyway. But, yeah, Super Mario Odyssey, phenomenal game. But it seems like it is in stock. Nintendo printed probably 30 million of these. I don't know how much they printed. 30, 40 million. Probably not 40 million. That's too much. But the game has sold over 25, 26 million units. So there's a lot of copies of Super Mario Odyssey. So you should be able to find it various different places. So that one's not too dire at this point. 
Now, next up is Splatoon 2. Very interesting because I haven't researched or looked at this game at all since 2017, its launch year. Very interesting. Splatoon 2, Amazon, $58 for this game, $59.99 on Best Buy, and $65.49 from third party retailers on Walmart. And I would say that I don't think Splatoon 2 is going to be a super rare game in the distant future because there was a lot of copies printed but it's interesting to see that its value was held up this much now i've seen discounts on it before in the past but it seems like it just evaporated and everyone forgot about the game because splatoon 3 came out about two years ago or more like going on two years ago now and people were just playing splatoon 3 but splatoon 2 at this point i mean the servers are still on you can still play it. and some people even state that the online is better on there so maybe splatoon 2 is a good option for people to play if you want your splatoon action so very interesting to see that the value is there loose it's pretty much cheaper like on ebay and stuff for some like crusty copies of the game but brand new don't see a lot of it brand new and if you do it's going to be right up there near msrp so very interesting to look up this game gave me a little bit of a nostalgia throwback to when i was playing it because i played splatoon 2 like crazy came out that first few months of the nintendo switch and it was the multiplayer game to play so let's move on to the last title here and that's going to be mario strikers battle league very interesting game as well didn't quite launch with some of the features and things that people wanted but a very interesting game and the game is 46 dollars flat on amazon just 46 dollars brand new they've got stock of it it's not low stock best buy had low stock of it for 59 dollars and 99 cents best buy seems to be phasing out everything and walmart has it for the cheapest and that's $39.32 directly from Walmart, their warehouses, whatever the case is. So it seems like it might be out of print or going out of print with the low stock at Best Buy. But Amazon has copies and it's cheaper and Walmart has copies and it's even cheaper at Walmart. So not sure exactly what the level is when it comes to urgency with Mario Strikers Battle League. But I will say that based on in the past, Mario Strikers games have kind of went up in price. There's not a lot of them, and obviously it didn't sell like it was crazy or anything just because the content wasn't there for the sales to be pushed past what Mario Strikers games would do normally. I know this one did better than the previous Mario Strikers games, but at the same time, it seems like this one is also kind of safe, like Super Mario Odyssey. Although there was low stock at Best Buy, but this one seems to be okay. But if you can pick up a copy for $39 or cheaper than normal, I think that might be a good pickup because it could kind of go to the Nintendo Selects line and then you have that thing and you're trying to collect it, it completely ruins it with that box art. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up here, guys, for the buy now before Super Rare Nintendo first party edition there are a few other games that were also on the list that we've covered before like donkey kong country and other games so if you want to check out my previous ones when it comes to buy now before super rare check those out i'll have a link for you guys in the description in addition to at the end of this video you'll see a pop-up as well so thank you so much for watching i do appreciate that please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell and check out these other buy now before rare nintendo switch videos and a bit more right here on screen thanks for watching we'll catch you guys for the next one peace